Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I have something super exciting for you. Today we're diving into celebrity makeup. I'm gonna continue my celebrity makeup series and welcome to my celebrity makeup tutorial inspired by George's Ariana Grande. So if you ever wondered how to achieve her signature makeup look, you are in the right place. And before we jump in, please don't forget to subscribe if you still not subscribe to this YouTube channel and the ring bell so you never miss fabulous tutorials like this one. Let's go. I'm gonna start with showing you uh, what are they signature makeup looks of fabulous Ariana Grande. It should pop up somewhere here, her the most popular makeup looks and I'm gonna choose this one. Ariana always rocks with the flawless complexion. To achieve this, of course, we start with hydrating our skin prep skin for beautiful makeup and I'm gonna hydrate my skin with Dr. Jard hydration cream. I really love how it makes my skin look right away after application. I feel like this is 911 for your skin if you are dehydrated or feel any dryness or your skin like feels or look tired, skin is prepped and you can apply your favorite foundation and I'm gonna apply today Estee Lauder Futurist. This is one of my favorites, forever favorite foundations. I love this foundation for working perfectly with skin and giving this flawless, glowy, healthy look. If you know me, you know i a fan of healthy, healthy looking skin. This is what I love. This foundation became a must-have in my personal makeup bag and my makeup kit. You can see how really flawless this foundation is. It has pretty good coverage. Still, beautiful, beautiful finish. I love this one. This is my go-to for sure. And I'm using this one for years, especially if I'm in a dry state or dry environment. This foundation, oh my goodness, it's never, never gave me any troubles, like never. Even in Arizona, when I used to live in Arizona, it's still, gave me such a like beautiful complexion you know even in the super dry state like Arizona. Next step brows on flick. Ariana Grande brows always on point. Let's fill in any space with uh, your favorite brow pencil or powder. I love to use NYX brow pencils. I am going to like simply fill in all space in my eyebrows. And I continue tail a little longer than my own. Ariana's eyebrows are perfectly shaped so take time with this step make sure your eyebrows look pronounced but still natural not this like angry eyebrows you know and my brow gel benefit to fix hair i can say that ariana grande her or her makeup artist just found the perfect makeup look for her and they just keep 
kind of adjusting the colors according to her outfits but in general her looks are always pretty much the same structure so it's the neutral eyeshadows on her eyes and winked super classy winked eyeliner with today's look I chosen the look with a little accent in the beginning of her eye. I personally love to use this technique to kind of um, accent, pick up the accent in my makeup. So we're gonna stick to her regular, most signature looks with the little bit of accent in their corners and for eye look i'm gonna use natasha denona glam palette and from here i'm gonna use the most neutral color it called blend and i'm gonna take a fluffy brush and create shape so i'm gonna start with the corner and just make those blendy blendy round movements to create a definition if in this video for some reason you're gonna hear my stomach i really apologize I'm hungry. Blend, blend, blend. Blend, blend, blend. On the middle of my eyelid, I'm gonna use even lighter neutral color. And for this, I'm gonna use very old, but so dearly loved eyeshadow palette by Brent Viseart. I'm gonna use this super light neutral color and apply it on my eyelid this little technique helps you to visually open up your eyelid space so I'm gonna apply couple layers and then I go back to my depth color from Natasha Denona palette and gonna add dips again this is just what I use it doesn't mean that you need to buy the same palette the idea here is to use a darker neutral color for the depth and couple shades lighter color on your eyelid easy and in my corners of course I gonna use a kind of contrast color accent color so on the picture Ariana has like lavender beautiful lavender color I have very similar color from Pat McGrath palette and I'm gonna use this one so here the idea is to have you can use a highlighter so the accent shouldn't be too frosty it shouldn't be like a sparkles it should be like more light reflecting oh I love it this is just my favorite it gives I don't know it gives feeling of accessor like your makeup is your accessory I love it it's it's just you know give the statement of makeup because just these colors look a little bit kind of boring but as soon as you add little something and the idea with this accents you can use any color so it's if you don't want to have lavender you can use a green you can use i don't know pink 
I love using pink right here. It's just, I don't know, it's, it's, it's cool, it's fun. But the most important is the uh, texture of your eyeshadow. Just remember, it shouldn't be too frosty. It should have this a little like folio effect. And in this case, you're gonna be just, just fine. This little technique is a game changer. Ariana known by her signature winked eyeliner. So if you say Ariana Grande, the first thing you're gonna think about it, probably a ponytail like mine and winked eyeliner. So this is a signature look and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Grab your favorite eyeliner. I'm gonna use gel eyeliner from MAC and the um, tiny brush like this, flat brush. This is how I enjoy to do my eyeliner. But the key is if you struggling with eyeliner and you are not sure if you're gonna if your wings gonna be even and so on I highly recommend you to start with sketching your wing and I'm taking this brush and I take a dark color any darker color than your transitions and I start drawing with eyeshadow because if you mess up eyeshadow is easy fix if you mess up with eyeliner or gel eyeliner it's not that easy to fix you know that's why we are building the sketches first and then it's gonna be your canva so you can use your gel eyeliner and just easy peasy you know i'm looking straight i'm looking straight in my mirror and start with with just a line and my line goes towards my temple I don't do it this way I don't do it this way I don't do it this way at least not in this makeup it goes towards my temple and with a super super light hand I want to do a long, nice one. I want to be a drama tonight. Then I do another line and connect lash line with my first line and I stop And I stop right here. This technique gonna help you to create wing if you have a hooded eye. So you only work in, in this sector. And I of course fill in. And here we go. I do have a nice canvas for my gel eyeliner so I can just do not afraid anything just start drawing right away. I believe this is the best you can do to make sure you have the even wings because it happens even to best of us. We are just humans. You can mess up, you know, but it's just easier to have Canva when you are not sure 100%. Let's fill in. I want to show you another hack. I don't really like when my wings are kind of levitating. So I just have the black on the top of my eyelid. What I usually do, grab a pencil, dark eye pencil, and work between the lashes. So my wings are connected and there is no space, no levitation. 
and everything looks complete. You know. For this, I'm gonna use Pat McGrath eye pencil. Look how much better and more complete this eye looks comparing to this one. Now, when my eye look is finished, I'm gonna use concealer, and today I'm gonna use House Labs. Time for lashes. Ariana's lashes are always voluminous and I want the same look. So today I'm gonna use Lancome mascara. So I start with applying mascara and my falsies today I'm gonna use Ardell. Very nice natural looking fluffy lash. First of all, I give a massage like this. Measure. Works. I glue. Today I'm using the first one I had on my table. Super strong kiss. It's this one is black. I would recommend to stay away from I recommend to stay away from black eyelash glue if you are a beginner because if you mess up a little bit you're gonna have this black spot on your eyelid. You don't want it. I'm looking straight and just applying in the middle first. The last step with eyelashes, when you put your falsies, I also want to go with another coat of mascara. In case our natural eyelashes look down and poke in you, so if after you apply your falsies and you applied it correct, correctly, but something bothering you, something poking you, most likely it's your own eyelash. So what I like to do, I like just kind of brush and connect my own lashes with falsies. Now it's time to set my makeup with powder and I'm using Hourglass Whale. Set your makeup before you're using any bronzer. It's just gonna be much easier for you to blend. Today I'm using Gucci. And, and of course blush. I'm gonna use Tom Ford and this is number seven. Now it's time to bake. And I'm gonna use Laura Mercier translucent powder, sponge like this. Uh, for the lips, Ariana usually goes with a nude shades and uh, today I'm gonna use Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. I'm gonna apply lip liner all over my lips. And on the top, 
I'm gonna use L'Oreal lipstick it's a beautiful rosy very sheer uh, lipstick number 906 and it's time to dust my baking And here you are, Ariana Grande inspired makeup look. If you decide to recreate this look, don't be strangers. Just tag me in your social media. I would love to see your makeup creations. And thank you so much for watching. Stay fabulous and I'm gonna see you in my next videos.